Hey, what's up everyone? I hope everyone is enjoying the Resident Evil 2 remake. Catcon has now released a free DLC, The Ghost Survivors. The extra mode contains spoilers from the main story. If you want to avoid the spoilers, clear the main story first. These extra modes are basically what if scenarios. It plays very similar to The Force Survivor. In No Time to Mourn, you play as Robert Kendall to escape Raccoon City. Now here is the tale of the future that never was. Of a night that never dawned. Looking at the small lifeless body beside him, Robert Kendall turned the gun towards himself. When the sound of his radio stopped him from pulling the trigger, the voice of an old friend crackled through. Robert, partner, please respond. I secured the chopper to get us out of here. Rendezvous ASAP. I'll hold the position here until you arrive. That guy always had been stubborn. After he made up his mind, he wouldn't hear anything different. Forgive me, Emma. Daddy's got to go. Robert stood up. There was no time to mourn. The new enemies in this game will have zombies filled with poison gas. They have bright white glowing eyes. And if they get shot in the head, the poison gas will be exposed in the area it was shot at. In fact, right when you start the scenario, you find a radio memo after the intro describing the enemies. This is Officer Mills, HQ. Please respond. This is HQ. What's the situation? A new monster. They got these glowing eyes. They look like really creepy bastards. My partner took one of them out. The thing died. But when it did, it released some sort of purple smoke. Shit! Officer, remain calm. The smoke hit my partner head on. Now he can't stop coughing since, like, he's having trouble breathing. What the fuck is going on? Weren't we supposed to take care of these things with the PZ gas? Calm down. We are currently confirming with the Umbrella R&D. Shut up! The gas, something's not right, instead of killing them, it's making them mutate. The environment that Kendall explores is outside the gun shop behind the RPD in the sewers. After you pass those areas, Kendall will reach the launch pad for the helicopter. In the runaway scenario, you will take control of Catherine Warren, better known as the mayor's daughter. And here's the synopsis. I'll take you to meet your special someone. Catherine Warren simply believed Iron's words. He was a gentleman and the chief of the police after all, not to mention a good friend of her father, the mayor. However, after he lured her to the orphanage, he let the mask slip. Do you know, I think you may become my greatest work. She fell into despair as she heard the words, but fate was on her side. She took the jail cell keys from her would-be killer and made up her mind. I have to go. I have to rescue my love, Ben. In the intro, it shows her killing Chief Irons, and now she must escape the orphanage and flee to the city to find Ben. Cat will also encounter a new enemy called the Paleheads. In the memo, it mentions, Do you recall the white specimen discussed in the last month's report? The researchers have named them Paleheads. These specimens have undergone a special mutation. Unlike normal specimens, they have the ability to regenerate. It would be difficult to stop these specimens with weak weapons. Not impossible, I should add, but it would take some time. I wouldn't try it myself. To stop a pale head, you must use high power weaponry that could damage it faster than it could regenerate. The most important item in my opinion to save is the high power round specifically for the pale heads. Cat will explore the orphanage and travel to the city area and head towards the RPD garage to head over to the cells to find Ben. Forgotten Soldier will be the scenario of the Umbrella Soldier that was seen killed by Birkins in the video footage in the main story. The synopsis states, your objective is to recover the G-Virus. His first USS mission should have been simple, but everything changed in the hail of a gunfire. William Burkins mutated into the bioweapon G and wiped out the unit that gummed him down. But one soldier narrowly escaped and headed deep into the nest to fulfill his mission. Once he secured the sample, however, he heard a voice echoing through the facility, self-destruct sequence initiated. There's not much time left. The forgotten soldier ghost, his final mission has just begun. And as far as the new enemies, they wear armor protection. The memo mentions, many members of the NES security team were infected with the virus that leaked out. Among the affected members, some were wearing bulletproof anti-personal gear, also known as A-gear. A-gear is highly durable and provides complete protection against gunfire. It was designed for use in subduing out of control situations. And I have to say, out of the three scenarios, this one will have the highest stars and difficulty. Oh yeah, that's something I forgot to mention. The scenarios are ranked by stars and their difficulty. In fact, there's also a training mode.
Training is designed for new players. In this mode, enemies will be weaker and you will receive more starting items, but your score won't count. Use training mode to get a feel for enemies' positions and item placement, and work out the best strategy to clear the scenario. Now basically this is just easy mode. It's only useful to get the idea of where to go and plan ahead, but it's pointless to do, since there's no scores when you complete it. There are unlockables to get when playing these scenarios, more Mr. Raccoon trophies to shoot, and of course a fourth scenario called No Way Out. There's also some skin DLC for Leon and Claire in the story mode using the retro polygon look. However, this is only for Leon and Claire. The others would not be presented in polygon form. Well, that's it for the free DLC for Resident Evil 2. Overall, I had fun and enjoyed it. Once you figure out what to do, these scenarios are pretty short. Resident Evil 2 has high replayability and the free DLC adds more to it. But for it being free content, I highly recommend trying it out. You can't go wrong with it. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, like the video, comment on your thoughts and experience, and make sure to subscribe for more Resident Evil 2 content. And I am out. Peace.